right cabbage last night. Your head feels like it's full of sauerkraut. Greetings, Tris. Have you lost your mind? You went after Imlarith by yourselves? To the Sabbath? How could you put Siri in danger? Come on, we came out of it fine. Can't say the same for Imlarith. That's the sole comfort I find in this, but it's no justification. You know what might have happened? Yeah, but I'd never let Siri come to any harm. You know that. Any success with the lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Fringilla. Haven't been able to contact her. You can count Kira out. I sincerely hope we can contact Philippa and Rita in time. Know where they are? Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Tell me everything. I want the details. After fleeing Loch Muin, Philippa ended up here in Novigrad. She sought help from her former lover, the sorcerer Arthur de Vleister. Philippa and a former lover? Something tells me happily ever after is not how that story ends. Philippa had made a fool of him once. Arthur was out for revenge. He convinced her she'd be safest as an owl. She transformed, and he placed a dimeridium band on her leg. The mage hunt started shortly afterwards. Sadly, Arthur fell victim. They auctioned off his estate. Just so happened a certain dwarven acquaintance of ours stumbled on the auction. Sultan. Huh. So Philippa was here under our noses the whole time. Was, precisely. Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Kidding, right? Sadly, no. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the owl. Naturally, he won. Then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philippa the Owl's Feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilage. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. Need to take care of something first. Meet you somewhere later? Fine. The fountain outside the passive floor. And hurry, please. Expected this of you. You humans have mm, unusual tastes. How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask. You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know. So she wrote in her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. Meaning? The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthia is a loyalist, but Gels, that is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. 
And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler. Regicide. Serious stuff. Take it not many know about this. Of the living? Only I. And Eredin, of course. Question is, can you get Gels to believe you? Nothing you need worry about. Fine. So what do you propose? Why to bring Gels here? Show him the truth of what happened? Fabulous plan. If we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the NL. I think you're forgetting something. You and Siri might know how to travel between worlds, but me, not so much. You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways that afford travel from one world to another. Of course, few know of these gateways, even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Meet you there. Got a seat or something along the way. Hurry. I'd rather not loiter in the street any longer than necessary. Drink. I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlarith, was that your idea or series? Series. As I thought. I'm glad you went with her. I thought you'd be angry. Angry? Why? Because you supported Siri in her decision? Or because you fought by her side and won? What if we'd lost? We wouldn't be having this conversation. And the female part of the continent's population would be drowning in tears. You won. No point bothering with what ifs. Hmm. Charming place. Why are you here? You'll find out soon. In the meantime, tell me about Philippa. Nothing to tell yet. Came to get you first. So... Can it tell me why you're here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts, the prison in Oxenfurt. I also learned the identity of the man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Derard. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. Faria? Who's asking? We'd like to talk. 
Damn. Best run and get him. Armed ruffians in town. Scandalous. Bet you'll sweat it all out. Like I'll divide the day. Or you care. Wouldn't you rather sweat it all Damn it. Scaled the ladder. Guess I'm in for a roof walk. Thought you'd agreed to meet. I said I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be! Calm down, we just want to chat. Uh -huh. And then stick a shift between my ribs. Leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? Uh, no. No, not really. I'm glad you agree. Besides, you'd be worthless to us dead. So you... You shan't hurt me. No. You're gonna tell us your story, then be on your way. Yeah. Well, so be it. But we, uh, we really ought to go back to Kate's. It's unwise to linger in the street. Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Derard. Huh. Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic. They'll they'll lock you up lickety split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped, then get on with your life. They say no one gets out of Dayrod alive. Aye, uh, so they say. My thought? Why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. They didn't start burning them until they learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before, they dropped the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. And once you reach the river, you're as free as a fish. So theoretically, we could get in the way you got out. Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. <laughs> Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? I have a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. We can find a way into the ruins. We'll get into the prison. They say Dayron's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. They choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs, rabid fanatics. If you only knew what they do to folk. Torture every day, the wheel, the rack. We only knew peace on holidays when they'd drink themselves blind. They're allowed to drink on duty? Oh, not officially, but you know how it is. See? Wasn't so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. What he said about the guards could prove handy. True. Things will go more smoothly if we can get even a few of them drunk. Zoltan ought to manage it. I'll ask him. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. to faultist again. Oh. Ah, right. All right. 
Ooh, looking for a thrush. Watch it. I miss a woman's touch. By order of the hierarch, whosoever conceals a maid in their home shall burn the most suffering. Something in particular? Um, a pretty little trinket. Want to give someone a present? When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We need to go to Temple Isle. Don't remember you being religious? Nor am I now. Let's go. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horse and Junior. Bit late for that. He's dead. I asked Sultan, and he said Horson's alive and well on Temple Isle. I was there, stuck a sword in his gut. Your hand must have slipped, because it seems he's recovered. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. Every sinner will burn in return. What? Here to see Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley's expecting important guests. So bugger off, you... you... Chance! Make a deal, maybe? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. A deal. Go on upstairs. Boss is waiting. That was... strange. To say the least. I wonder what they're doing. We'll know soon enough. found your little ward. Took your sweet fucking time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, because you thought you killed me that time. Surprise the fucking prize. Shut your trap, witch! Before somebody fills that hole for you. Enough! I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop, it's me, Dudu, Dudu Bieberfeld. You really didn't recognize me. Dudu? Wait, Siri. After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's yard. The mama's play. Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheathe your sword, Siri. It's doo-doo. God! You give me quite the scare. Not wise to play games with a witcher. Horson Jr. Was there no one else you could impersonate? Once we'd fled, I'd no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. They'd find me sooner or later. It wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. Amusingly, once dead, he became a useful member of society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Orson got his, in a way.
sharing it. That was courageous, Dudu. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way, you've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. Be careful. You could get found out. Wiley's men are too stupid to catch on. His colleagues ain't much better. Mind you, even you were fooled. And that might have ended very badly for you. True. I get a bit carried away at times. But mostly I'm careful. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. You too. So long, Dudu. Why are we going to the Sturgeon? To see a girl who helped me once. Who might that be? A friend of Dandelion's. Her name's B. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact Dandelion. I wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Oh! I wish my man were as brave as you. I visited a city once that was very much like Novigrad, but the people there were much taller and had dark skin. This somewhere in Zeracania? No, in another world. Hmm. What's it like, hopping between worlds? Anything like passing through a portal? Or different? Hmm, a bit different. It was hard going at first. I wasn't very good at controlling it. So I had to concentrate intensely and hope I didn't land in the crater of an active volcano. The training I did with Avalanche was very helpful. Now I merely think of the place I wish to travel to, close my eyes, and it's done. your chance should have taken it i spit on anything you give me you'll regret that you cow mind your manners you're talking to a lady stay out of this this is not your concern sure it is you're a fucking freak too he is very dangerous at that the butcher of white orchard what'd he do there trim the trees you can he slew half the village, dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S -s sorry Thank you. I seem more determined this time. You shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. So good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. <gasps> that Geralt! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That's Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh my, it's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning? Thanks, but we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? 
Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our witcher. I will. So long. Bravo, witcher! I've material for another ballad. So, your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt, you're terrible. what I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the Temple Guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copy to my name. Then I met Valdo. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. Where's this friend of yours? There! Valdo! Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello? What's this? Brought your granddad? Hagar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Mostly lies, I bet. Ah, if it's a lie that since her youngest years you've been her friend and mentor, then indeed. She is a bold-faced liar. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. Would have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. What's eating him? Oh, don't worry. That's just how Agar is. Be back to his jolly old self by evening. What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri? You know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Geralt, choose one of these. Coming, coming. You were faster ah! once! Giving you a head start. You're trailing. Watch where you're going or you'll fall. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> Seems you've slowed. Just want to admire you from the side. Can still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We've several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. Worked out nicely, don't you think? What are you talking about? You and Triss. Never expected it, to be honest. Life's full of surprises. 
So, how did the two of you... End up together? <laughs> With Yen, it was fight after fight, lots of arguments, drama. Not saying it was bad, but... But what? Got to be exhausting. With Triss, it's not. I finally feel... Harmony. A calm. I feel like things are the way they're supposed to be. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. wild hunt first I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning for me at least what do you mean <laughs> you promised <laughs> in jest sometimes I wish I could be like them drunk or giggling Whichever it is, today's your chance. <laughs> Not what I meant. I'd like to be ordinary. Your life is yours exclusively. You choose who you are. Uh, Geralt, you know that's never been true. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. to meet all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands, not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so... You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. Huh. Lost cause. The man ref We need horses. But we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho oh, oh, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Just buy the horses. Why can't you? With what coin? Siri gave you a full pouch. Enough for one at most, whereas at the least we need four. Geralt, stop fussing. We'll not strip the merchant bear. And it's finally a chance to do something other than run from the wild hunt. Don't make us beg. Gotta be another way to solve this. It just so happens I got some coin I could lend you. We'd have no way to repay you. Wouldn't have to. Shame the Emperor doesn't have another daughter. We could buy all the horses in Novigrad. A generous offer, but not one to resolve this situation. The merchant didn't object to our coin. He objected to us. I'll not trade with such scum. I believe those were his words. And if he'll not trade, we've no choice but to steal from him. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! I must say, you didn't seem the type to me. 
What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. Agar, keep a lookout. Siri and I'll try to get inside. All right. Fat gun. Wait here. I'll go inside, open the door for you. Just keep the noise down. Hard to find good guards these days. Quiet, you'll wake them. That beats me a boss. Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. Hey! Hey! Prowls the city, but ha! Who's the best now? to death on three pounds. Monster Slayer. Ah, 